on the part one of this video, we help this noob with the control fruit reach second C. I made a promise, I've seen suggestions and requests, now we're gonna help this noob reach third C using the control fruit. Let's go! Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk! Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to continue grinding with this noob until he finally reaches 3rd C. But before that, I created a Twitter account, so make sure to follow it for future announcements and giveaways. And also to show your support, you can use the star code GAMERNOM when purchasing your Robux. Okay guys, so to start it off, we are gonna level up with the cyborg, do server hop until you reach level 725. Yes, why 725 gamer nom? We're gonna skip the first quest in the second C. Check it out, guys. We got the cool shades. So let's wear it. There go. But still, guys, I prefer buying the Santa hat. Again, our goal here is to reach level 725. One more thing, who's excited in unlocking the Gamma Rush? One of my favorite skills in the game so far. Okay, so let's say we've reached level 725. Fast forward, let's go back to the second scene. Okay, so teleporting. There you go. So guys, if you're gonna rate this control fruit, rate it from 1 to 10, comment it on the comment section. So we're gonna start grinding here with the mercenaries again at level 725. They're very easy to defeat. Don't forget to use your control area, lure 3, and use your levitate go guys you need to defeat eight to finish a quest and also if you will follow my stats you only need three levities to finish a batch okay so the goal is to reach level 775 but before that at 750 you can start defeating the mini boss in this part the diamond actually not in this island we have two mini bosses diamond but guys you cannot do server hop with this bosses because they're so far apart from the quest giver okay there you go using your echo knife levitate so, just showing it to you guys but i did not grind here i just focus on the mercenaries again the goal here is to reach level 775 and after that moving on next up the swan pirates okay so here we're gonna grind guys listen until you reach level 900 okay if you can you can go from 775 to level 925 but 900 is enough okay there you go guys at level 850 you can start defeating the mini boss in this island and that mini boss is Jeremy or Bellamy in one piece there you go and at this point yes finally we've unlocked the gamma rush I'm gonna show it to you one of the best skills again so far in the game for me check that out guys everyone inside your control area will be damaged and the damage is based on the weapon that is equipped the mastery okay the mastery again not the sword stats the mastery there you go okay so when you reach level 900 let's buy the santa hat first santa hat is located there just outside the mansion let's buy it go for 500 candies next up the green zone so here we're gonna start with the marine captains you need to defeat nine i'm gonna show it to you again always use your control area just in case someone will attack you you can use your teleport that's one two three go four and five there you go use your levitate or your gamma rush but guys sometimes after every gamma rush i get damage so sometimes you just need to use your levitate okay just use your levitate there you go cooldown is really really fast so just focus on dodging their skills yes you can use your gamma rush for last hit okay for last hitting your enemies but don't use this as a starting damage yeah, after luring them not a good idea okay so at 925, you can start defeating Fajita. Guys, here, kind of avoid using the Gamma Rush because I've tried using it and after that, I get damage. Check this out, right? I'm using the Gamma Rush. Maybe if you can dodge 
after that but I don't know it's kind of hard check it out I almost died but still guys we won this fight just use your levitate I'm telling you levitate cooldown is really really fast and you can just maintain your distance by the way guys you're gonna stay here and grind until you reach level 1100 you can skip the zombies the vampires uh, the mobs in the snow mountains this boss gives out more experience compared to them and you can server hop because the spawn point the quest giver is near stat check 550 melee defense blocks fruit 2200 okay next island at 1100 hot and cold guys lab subordinates you need to defeat eight uh, there are five spawn in the area so lure three defeat them there you go and you can lure five and that's eight right or just you can just lure two and another three okay so the goal here is to reach level 1150 just 50 level ups and we are going to move on to our next target and that target wait let's defeat this first I'm so excited <laughs> okay that target is a smoke admiral guys here is the longest part maybe and the easiest part so you're just gonna server up here just use your levitate he's easy to defeat because he has no uh, flashy skills etc there you go let's finish this why am i showing this to you because you're gonna level up here until you reach level 1300 that's a lot right that's a lot it's like 250 levels there you go why gamer no i'm gonna show you why the experience that you will get here is 25 million okay the next mob is here located at this cursed ship and will give you 23 million the ship deckhands next up more xp ship stewards but sometimes you can hit them there you go and sometimes you cannot so it is really confusing to level up here that's why I suggest just stay with a smoke admiral I mean just defeat it once and you will level up do server hop and sometimes you will get lucky actually I'm so lucky enough to have you as my supporters but again <laughs> just saying here we're in the public server sometimes you might get lucky see that You've already damaged your enemy, so just wait for them to defeat it. And there you go. At level 1350, Ice Castle, we're gonna start here with the Arctic Warriors. So there you go, you're gonna level up here 50 times again. So here you go, just lure 5 or 4 at a time. You need to defeat 8. Go, use your Levitate once, twice, I think 4 times. Yeah, 3, uh, 4 times. To finish the quest and after that when you reach level 1400 you can start defeating the awakened ice admiral believe me guys he's easier to defeat how gamer not easier than fajita so the tip is lure him on the other side of the castle and you will go in the opposite side and in between you and the ice admiral is the stairs see that so he won't be able to damage you is kill so the goal here oh we got a key a library key i think this is where you will get the death step yes the goal here is to reach level 1475 we're gonna do server hop there you go use your echo knife to finish him again 1475 and after that you can now go to the final grinding island the forgotten island here we're gonna start and end with the tide keeper okay the mini boss in this island so he's easy to defeat guys just stay in this area check it out and use your levity that's it guys before he even reaches you you will keep on attacking him because again your levitate has a very short cooldown boom see that very easy guys very easy just showing to you he won't be summoning his uh, sea beast if you are this far so once you think that his HP is that low you can now use your gamma rush and your echo knife to finish the job there you go okay so gamer gnome was it hard 
Yes, I think it's kind of hard to be honest, but it's worth it. The moment that we unlock the Gamma Rush, oh. Okay, so let's say we've defeated the Tide Keeper, 1,500. Now you should go in the Coliseum. Make sure that you've finished the Bellamy quest and you've defeated Swan. You go talk to King Redhead and you will fight, I think, R.I.P. Indra, right? There you go. Oh, you need to damage him until he reaches half HP, I think. Then, that's it, guys. You will be teleported back. They will ask you to go to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and he will then send you to the third scene. And that's it for this video, guys. What do you think? Should we reach max level with this fruit? Comment it on the comment section. I think, guys, they will awaken this soon. If you're reading the manga, you will see why. So I think that's it. For recommendations, suggestions, just comment it on the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!